Hello, my name is Allie and welcome to my channel. We are back with Mystic Destiny Serendipity of Aeons and but it's gonna be a totally different route. We're doing Shinji. I'm excited. Shinji, our purple haired boy. Here we go. Shinji Hirayama. Thanks to his appearance, this dreamy genius with a talent for music is often perceived as a slacker by others. Not that he minds. Never feeling as if he quite belongs, Shinji drifts through life. A certain event years ago gave him a special ability that only separates him from others more. Lost between two worlds, Shinji is trying to find his purpose, purpose in life. We are going to read his story. I just realized, too, that in the other game I'm playing, Hakuoki Kyoto Wins, I'm doing Okita's route, and Okita and Shinji have the same voice. So my throat's going to be messed up after all these recordings. Fun. Anyway. Let's go. Chapter 1, Stormbringer. I look up at the men around me. My eyes meet those of the guy with purple and red hair. More like magenta than red, I say. I don't know about you, but that's how I feel. He calmly, calmly stares back at me. It's as if he knows so much that I don't. I get such a peaceful feeling looking at him, and I automatically whisper his name. Shinji. Oddly enough, he looks surprised. Me? I nod. There's something comforting about him. More than the other guys. Sho seems kind of unreliable. Poor Sho. And Tatsuya seems irritable. But he's a sweetie. <laughs> I think Shinji would be patient with me. A good choice. Shinji will take good care of you. Yeah, you made the best choice, I think. Shinji is great at helping people. Something was on my arm. Creepy. I don't know how much you can rely on him, but at least he knows what he's doing. Quite a compliment from coming from you, Tatsu. Tatsu. Oh my god, Tatsu. <laughs> Can't read. Shinji turns to me, seeming to examine me for a moment. I stare evenly back at him. <sighs> Did he not want to be chosen? But then he seems to make up his mind. Okay. Well, if you're sure then, cool. If you live close by, I'll go ahead and walk you home then. You look like you're about to collapse from exhaustion. Sounds good. Great. Not good. Great. Awesome. I'm honestly so tired that I think I can hear my bed calling to me. I struggle to push myself up before a hand appears in front of me. I look up. Need help? I take Shinji's hand and he gently pulls me up. Yeah, I would take your hand. You are so cute. Hot stuff. I still feel a little worn out, though, and it's ridiculous how shaky I am. Shinji gently puts an arm around my shoulder to act as a stabilizing force for me. Although it's embarrassing, I'm grateful. We slowly walk into the elevator. Shinji presses the buttons for us with one hand while holding on to me with the other. I glance at Shinji and he seems to be thinking again. For my part, I just try to act like it's normal for a strange guy to be this close to me. But he smells so nice. It reminds me of what the wind might smell like. That's a weird... What's the word? A weird type of thought. Would you immediately think, Oh, this guy smells good. He smells like wind. Uh, I don't know. I would never think something like that. But okay. I find it so comforty, comforting that I end up relaxing. We step out of the elevator to make, and make our way out of the building. I've been staring at the wet road in front of me, set sparkling by the sunset. We've been entirely silent the whole time. It isn't something I mind too much with Shinji for some reason, but my mind is staring, starting to go dark places. I decide to distract myself by striking up a conversation. Hey, you remember last week at Business Cup Club? Can't talk? Yeah. Um, I kind of felt like you were staring at me a lot. And then you started to say something and left. It freaked me out. What was that about? Girl, I don't understand. Why, why are you just going? It, you, it freaked me out. You're scary. I don't, want, uh, I don't understand why you were staring at me like that. <laughs> it's kind of weird. <laughs> why would you bring that up? Like first conversation you have with him oh it's tough to explain but 
there was something about your aura that day. So he can see auras? Is that it? I was trying to figure it out. My aura? Shinji nods, but he doesn't say anything else. I want to ask more, but then he starts talking. Hey, I was just thinking. There's a lot of interesting classes you can sign up for if you want to learn more about the supernatural world. Like Intro to the Unseen World, Professor... Sepinti? Sepinti? I don't know. Teaches that one. It might be kind of advanced for a newcomer, but you should be able to understand most of it. And if there's something you don't get, I'd be happy to explain. Also, there's a really good one that should help you with your powers called Control and Focus. While we're talking, a car comes out of nowhere. It speeds towards us on the previously empty road. Suddenly, Shinji pushes me behind him. I hear the sound of tires churning up water and feel faint raindrops on my face. Oh. Oh, I was not ready for this. Oh my god. <laughs> Not even, like, ten minutes in, and we already have a lovely CG of our boy. Okay. Hmm. All right. Ugh. It's then I realized that Shinji got hit with water from one of the many puddles. Oh, Shinji, you got splashed, didn't you? You didn't have to do that, you know. Shinji sighs and closes his eyes for a moment before replying. Ugh. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, that's that's a cute face. I like that smile. Really? He smiles brilliantly down at me to reassure me. I can see that the water drenched him, though. Oh, did I miss something? Yeah, oh no, okay. It, my mouse double-clicked, so I was like, what? His wet hair clings to his face in some places and hangs dripping in others. In the drying rays of the sun... No, in the dying rays of the sun, I can see beads of water glisten on his skin. Yeah, because he's so freaking cute. I'm captivated by the unexpectedly beautiful sight before me. Yes, yes, I feel you. Still, I just thought that you've been through a lot recently. So the last thing you need is to be covered in dirty water. Does he have, like, gray-colored eyes? Or are they, like, a pink? I can't tell. I, don't know. I look down, feeling grateful that someone seems to understand how I'm feeling. Thanks. And I meant more than just for protecting me from the water. We finally arrive at my apartment building. Thanks for walking me home. I start to climb the stairs, but Shinji's voice stops me. Hold up a sec. He takes a pen and piece of paper from his pocket and presses it against the building. He scribbles something on it and hands it to me. If you need to know anything or need some help, just let me know. On the slip of paper is Shinji's complete contact information. Sorry, I have to run off so quick. I've got guitar practice I'm running late for. But if you start feeling like you're losing control, just remember to take deep breaths. That'll help you calm down. Anyway, sleep well. Okay, from here it looks like it's pinky colored, his eyes. It's just interesting how the CG makes it almost look gray. Sorry, I'm trying to fix my headset. It's doing some weird stuff. Anyway, Shinji waves and walks off. <clears throat> I turn around and drag myself up the stairs into my apartment. Collapsing onto my bed, I reach into my pocket and pull out the piece of paper Shinji gave me. In clean, lovely cursive writing, his full name stands out clearly to me. Man, cursive. That's a rarity nowadays. I remember having to learn that in like, was it second or third grade? I don't remember. But I don't, I write kind of like a combo of print and cursive. It's weird. But anyway, I slowly recount everything I know about him. He talks to himself. He can see auras. He plays the guitar. Something about his presence feels comforting, but also like he's not quite there. 
Are you saying he's a ditz? <laughs> I can't deny that there is something intriguing about him. Shinji Hirayama. I whisper his name aloud before drifting off to sleep. In your clothes, not your jammies. Interesting. As mysterious as Shinji is, my life doesn't change in any significant way under his guidance. He's even better than I'd hoped as my partner. Over the next three months, Shinji effortlessly teaches me the basics of magic. And I've still learned very little about him. Oh, she's in her cold weather clothes. I'm thinking these things as I get ready to meet Shinji this afternoon. We've been meeting up on Sundays to go over everything that happened in the past week. It's just easier without class schedules in the way. Shinji always thinking ahead like that. Shinji's always thinking ahead like that. It's nice not having to worry about everything. I pick up my bag and hoist it on my shoulder. To be honest, I haven't felt fe I haven't been feeling myself ever since the incident with Shizuka. Every day I do what I'm supposed to. I get up in the morning, go to regular classes, go to supernatural ones. Makes me wonder, in this route, has she noticed that she has one green eye, one a brown eye? Because remember, in Sho's route, she notices in the bathroom while she was looking at a reflection. Tatsuya's route, he flat out pointed it out to her. I wonder if she has noticed her eyes yet. Sometimes I go to bus business pl <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I go to business club, and then I go home, eat, do my homework, and sleep. Honestly, the most exciting part of my week is getting to see and work with Shinji. I glance at the mirror once more to check myself before I leave. Oh, there I go, as I say that. One bright green eye stares back at me, and the proximity of my previous thoughts means I immediately think back to the ritual. So she doesn't freak out about it in this one. Interesting. Shizuka's cold green eyes staring down at me. How can she look like that when I'm in so much pain like this. I feel a ghostly fire trickling down my body, creeping through my veins. No. It's bright. No. I don't have to deal with this now. I struggle with my emotions that threaten to keep me trapped in, the, in that time, in that place three months ago. I push th down the tears that were coming to the not- Oh my god, that were coming and the nausea that was rising in my stomach. I turn away from the mirror. I'm sorry I've been stumbling so much in this one. I've, we just got home from going to the zoo with my son. While he's napping, I want to try to get at least two videos in. So I'm like, stutter fest over here. <laughs> no, I can't do this today. It's fine. I can't be late meeting Shinji. Doggedly, I turn all my thoughts to ones of meeting Shinji on time. Just thinking about him always calms me down at times like this. After a few minutes, I feel okay enough to leave. Mental issues managed, I grab my keys off my dresser and head out the door. Since it's later in the day, more people are out walking than usual. Good. Not being alone always helps. The people and the warm December sunshine serves to pull me my thoughts away from Shizuka. As I walk, I still, I still my mind and think about the person I'm going to meet. My regular study sessions with him have made me into what I feel is a reasonably competent sorceress, or at least they've no, they've kept my powers from going out of control well enough. I can't imagine how bad things would be if I hadn't received lessons. I'm actually going to let you guys go here due to the fact that I am going crazy stuttering like this. So um, I hope you are enjoying now that we finally started Shinji's route, was route three out of five. Cool. Anyway, I hope you are enjoying and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.